y'all. It's Nim or Nimacree if you're feeling professional, and welcome to the YouTube video. Now, today we're going to answer the question, why play as Senja in Wayfinder? For those who don't know, Senja, before the gloom swallowed everything, she was the strongest gladiator in the history of the Imperial Arena. She was from the Iron Sisters, and she could smite her enemies with both Storm and Steel. If that's not enough for you, she happens to be of the Muscle Mommy archetype, so if that's one of those things... You like, believe me, she lives up to it. Let's take a look at her abilities. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go over some uh, dungeon footage with me playing with her. And we'll close out the video. So first, let's take a look here. As you can see, she has Gladiator Pummel. Punch forward, then hold the showboat. On release, Senja punches again. Fully showboating increases the damage of the follow-up punch. She has the ability to gain favor. Hold the showboat. For Roaring Crowd, on release, taunts nearby enemies while buffing Senja and her allies, increasing weapon power and ability power for 10 seconds. Then you have Lightning Grasp. Use Lightning to damage and pull all displaceable enemies in a large cone towards Senja. And of course, her ultimate is Grand Finale. In the form of a Lightning Sphere, Senja charges to smash an enemy, dealing massive damage and fully feeling the crowd's favor meter. Of course, the, ability, the weapon I have for her is Colossus, so she uses Gladiator Slice. Performs a quick melee attack that buffs ability power by 20% for the next Wayfinder ability. Used within 3 seconds. Consumes 1 level of momentum per use. Using Gladiator Slice again within 6 seconds will perform an empowered Gladiator Slice, dealing an additional 20% damage up to 2 times. So in that case, fill the bar and just dump it. You'll get, you'll get a lot of damage there in addition to having uh, an increased ability power. So that's really good. And then our passive ability is Crowd Favorite. Holding input uh, for Gladiator Pummel and Gain Favor will cause Senja to showboat. While showboating, she cannot be staggered, takes reduced damage, and increases the crowd favor. As crowd favor increases, Senja gains weapon power and ability power. So she can become an absolute powerhouse when that meter is full. And we look at passives. So Art of War, ability char weapon abilities charge 15% faster when using a weapon ability. Inspires the War Master and nearby allies for a short time, increasing weapon power by 10% per ability level. Stacks up to 30%. Ability level refers to uh, how many points in you put into it. You can go uh, 0 to 3. Then we have Dodge Roll. Uh, War Masters have an additional 20% stamina and restore some resilience with each roll. So it can be both a it can be a very good defensive tool, and we don't have any mutators active. So let's take a look here, and if we go to character, let's look at our abilities. Here we have, those are our abilities, of course, Gladiator Pummel. But we're going to scroll down to, there's our crowd favorite, Art of War, Dodge Roll. And here we have our Executioner subclass, Greatsword. All melee attacks ex excel at dealing high damage to health and resilience. Heavy input attacks are slower, but will build additional momentum and deal additional damage and break damage. A looping crossover combo can be performed by alternating light and heavy melee attacks when near the end of a combo tree or after a dash attack. Uh, you can also block attacks, but it's not as effective as a shield. Uh, you can also use a quick shoulder tackle from uh, blocking. And then, of course, Greatswords have faster attack speed but lower damage to resilience. And then, of course, Momentum. Uh, builds momentum as you swing your weapon, decaying quickly when not attacking. As momentum builds, incoming resilience damage is reduced, allowing you to keep attacking for longer without being guard broken. Performing a weapon ability will consume all momentum and increase the power of the ability for each level of momentum consumed. So, okay. So, Senja, right? She happens to be a gladiator really up front. I like Senja, to be honest. I like playing as Senja. I think the idea of being a showboat and a gladiator and playing to the crowd is a really cool flavor, especially because there's, well, there's no crowd right now. You know, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? And again, I, I like Senja a lot. She's a fun character to play with, and canonically, I, I like her having a great sword. I think it makes sense for a gladiator. Uh, a lot of damage, a lot of things there. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to actually queue into a dungeon. We'll cut the video here, and then we'll pick up in the dungeon. All right, we are in a dungeon. We can talk about abilities all we want. The best way to see them is to actually see them in combat being used. So let's pick up some stuff, get a few things going. And of course, I really like said I really like the great sword for Senja. I think it's I think canonically it's a good idea. Some stuff, see some things, and I, for interest of full disclosure, I turned off the queue uh, because I really. And there's the showboat and the extra damage. And now I am stuck by Let's go. Come here, guys. Start building up that stuff. As you can see, let's go here. There's the whirlwind. And now we just did we just did a whole bunch of damage there. So that was the that was the whirlwind, and we're gonna break these up. Simple and easy. 
And there's a couple of crystal weapons, and you can see uh, Colossus does just an absolute monster amount of damage. My, my momentum is decaying very quickly, as you can tell. There we go. All right, perfect. A little extra money, easy peasy. And I'm trying to build out. Let's so we we did we did we showed off our our gladiator pummel is actually really really cool because it works out. There's the taunts, boom. And we're gonna showboat again. Bam! I just I really like. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really like that. I think that's a really cool thing. And you can store up to three charges, so that's very useful. There's our silver spectra. We'll just go through in here and see what else we can find. But yeah, Senja, great. Honestly, one of my favorite characters. I Probably my second favorite. It's either Senja or Venomous. Uh, Wingrave, of course, is my favorite. That's not up for debate. Everybody knows that. Uh, but I will say that I really, really like Senja. All right, let's do, let's do a roar of the crowd. As you can see, I'm holding it. I'm charging it. Boom, and there we go. Got some more, some more damage. Pop that off, pop that off, and I've exterminated, completed that. And one of the, the cool things is you really do want to hold into uh, your particular charges because you get you take less damage. And seeing as Ascension doesn't really have any healing outside of uh, potions, or if you're with a Windgrave or Venomous, you want to make sure you take as little damage as possible. And by you charging up at your attack, you will absolutely decimate your opponents. I mean, I, I there are sometimes with like basic enemies you can one hit them, essentially, and that is really cool. I've seen this one. I have. I've watched it. Play. There are some build, some some dungeon builds that uh, you know I, I I haven't seen. I've, I've discovered all every landmark, but we'll keep going through this. About halfway through, less than halfway on. on I need, I need the ultimate. I need to get the ultimate. Right, come here, buddy guy. So as you see, two hits, and then that nice big overhead smash. Boom. Boom. Yeah, and then I just one hit him with the damage up on, on the Whirlwind. Or Gladiator Slice. It's called Whirlwind. It looks like a Whirlwind hit, but it's Gladiator Slice. Like you might have spun more than once. You, you might be able to call it that. All right, so now let's increase the level of the enemies. And even with that big AOE slam, just look look at that, just absolutely decimated. Senja has the ability to tear through people, especially if you armor with heavy weapons. And she can buff your, your team. Let's continue to, that's our end game. Luke Goblin. Where? I saw Luke Goblin. Ah. I hate how they I hate how the Luke Goblin runs. Really, really do. It's kind of annoying. Can I can I can I catch you, friend? Camera angle. Friggin' camera angle, man. There we go. Now you're gone. Hey, and there we go. Cool, I got some floral movement, gem, gem of avarice, a few things there. Wanted to make sure I can get that. I still, for some reason, do not have all of... I don't have my ultimate attack. I want my ultimate attack. I need it. I want to show it off. Well, let's see. We'll just keep going through this dungeon. Anyway, Senja, again, as you guys can see, very, very powerful. Super awesome. I think that's where I need to go. Alright, well, let's see what we got here. Maybe I can get it done. Number 
75%. I may have to go through another dungeon. But if I go through another dungeon, I'm not going to show a second dungeon. I just want to get to... I just want to get to where I can show you the, uh, thing. Do that. I'm just, and I'm just trying to do as little damage as possible with as many, so I can do as many hits as I, as I need to see if I can not build up this lightning spear. Let's, uh, let's see. And the expedition is completed without me being able to show that off. Okay, so we're going to cut real quick, and I'm going to show you the la I'll show you the abilities again. And then we'll go from there. So first we have our Gladiator Pummel. Boom. Roar of the Crowd. Our Lightning Grab. Boom. And as you can see, it's a cone, so keep that in mind. It's frontal. Yeah, it's a frontal cone. And then let's see if I wonder if that, that keeps coming. No, it does not. Okay. I'm not gonna count for being built up. I think I explored everywhere. So that's yeah, I explored everywhere. Alright, so we'll finish we'll finish this. And I'll be right back, and I'll show you the final attack. And we're back. I just wanted to build up my special meter here to show you what's going on. So let's show off the ultimate Senja's ability. Boom! Look at that. That Spear Rush does a lot of damage, and it's really cool. Uh, against a bigger single target, it would definitely do a lot more damage. But that's what the ultimate ability looks like. So, final thoughts on Senja. I like Senja. I think she's a well-designed character. I think firmly, probably my number two. Uh, favorite Wayfinder that's out so far. Of course, that will change as more Wayfinders are added, such as Grendel, which is coming soon. But Windgrave is still my favorite. Play Senja if you want to do a lot of damage and be in melee combat and buffing and supporting in addition to doing damage. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, and do all those other things that YouTube says I should have you do. And may the thing you're farming drop on the first instance of you running the content that drops it. I'll see you in the next video.